Hey there friends, it's Missy with the ThermaWeb Design Team. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have a new layout today and the focus for this layout is fall. And I've picked out several things to focus on today. I've got a couple of different colors of the deco foil transfer sheets here. And I'm also going to show you how to use the sticky dots, which is one of the many different adhesives that ThermaWeb offers. The mixed media adhesive, the tape runner, I'm also going to use those two. I'm going to use some of the Gina K Designs white cardstock. It's very smooth and very thick, very nice weight. And then some of the mixed media adhesive sheets. These are by Rebecca Meyer Designs, also carried by ThermaWeb. And what this is, is basically a big sheet of sticker material. And you can run this through your Cameo. You can stick it to cardstock, die cut it, um, all kinds of things. So I'm just going to peel off one side of this big sticker sheet and adhere it to the cardstock. Now it's a little bit bigger, so I'm going to trim off the edges. Now I tried to run this through my Silhouette Cameo and my blade I think is getting kind of dull or maybe I should have done a double cut but the cardstock is so nice and thick that I could not get my cameo blade to cut through it and so I didn't show you that because <laughs> it cut some leaves and uh, it just didn't work very well so I decided to stick it to some cardstock again and I'm just going to use some scissors and I'm going to just do old school cutting out the old-fashioned way here. So I grab my Cutter B scissors, and since this layout is focused on fall, the first thing I think of is leaves. And so I'm going to do my best here to hand cut a couple of different styles of leaves here. And they're not perfect. And you know, at the in the end, I really like that they're not perfect. Um, it's a little bit different. I get some different shapes. Um, even though I have a lot of different cut files of leaves that I love, I just couldn't make it work for this particular day on this particular layout. I think I need a new blade or I should have done a double cut because it is pretty thick cardstock. But in the end, it turns out okay. And sometimes it's fun to just come up with your own shapes and cut them yourself. So all I'm doing is cutting the cardstock with the sticky adhesive sheet on top of it. And I'm also going to use some of my older punches. I have two of these older Martha Stewart punches. And you can see I really have to put some muscle behind this to punch them out because the cardstock is pretty thick. But I have this little leaf sprig here and then another solid leaf shape. And so I'm going to have some of these big leaves that I cut myself and, and, a, and then a bunch of smaller ones that I punch. And so basically I've created a sticker. So all you do once you get all your shapes cut or punched or whatever you want with them, you're going to peel off the other side. And so you're left with one side that's got the cardstock and then the other side that's got the sticky. And when you want to use the foil, now this is something that you do not need a laminator for. This is the amber watercolor foil. It's so pretty. You stick it foil side up or you can turn the foil over and stick it right down. And you just press it with your fingers and get it nice and smooth and stuck down. And then you just peel it away and the foil sticks to the sticky part. It is super easy. You don't need a laminator. You don't need anything fancy for this. You just need the sticky sheets and the foil. And you can see how easy and quick this is. And uh, my desk top is kind of bumpy and messy. So um, I didn't get full coverage on all of these because if you don't press this down on perfectly smooth surface, you know, it's going to look kind of bumpy. But I kind of like it that way. I don't like it to be perfect. I like it to look kind of weathered and distressed. Now this bright pink color that I'm using is called magenta and it's more of a satin finish, but it is so electric pink. It is very, very pretty. Now I decided to add in some green and some blue. I also added in aqua foil and the spring green foil. Now I know this looks kind of dark um, because of the light and the nature of the foil, but I promise you once I shine it and turn the, the paper in the, the light, you'll be able to see it and you'll definitely be able to see all the colors in the end. But I'm just playing around here. I've got a picture of my husband and my daughter. He's flying her around in uh, one of our local parks from a few years ago and uh, that's pretty much what our fall looks like in Florida. Everything's either green or brown. You know, we don't get that really pretty orange and red and yellow leaf change around here and so we kind of have to make do with the fall that we get. Uh, we get a couple days of nice weather and then it's either cold or hot. 
So uh, yeah, I'm going to kind of channel my inner fall here as best I can, considering we don't really have those here. Anyway, I'm going to jazz up my background here with some sprays. These are some different ink sprays from Shimmers, and I'm just kind of mixing and matching. Um, in the picture, my husband has on a coral colored shirt, and so I wanted to play on that for my background. And so I'm mixing and matching some pinks, some corals, some Heidi Swap gold color shine. I'm going to add some blue in there. And I just want this nice watercolor area coming behind where the, the picture and some of the leaves are going to go. And I, every time I use foil, I feel like I just want everything to be shiny and sparkly. And so I always want to add gold for some reason. I want to add gold color shine. I want to add shiny gold stitching. I want to add uh, gold thickers for my title. I just want everything to be sparkly and shiny. And so I try to do that today as well. So I thought it would be pretty since I've got some blue leaves to add in a little bit of blue to the background. And I love how this is looking. I love this color scheme. I think it's really pretty. And when I go back to add the leaves in, I wind up not using the bright pink magenta leaves. Um, I did do some gold circular stitching. As I was making this video, I was watching some of my other friends on YouTube, and I was watching a video by Kelly Barron, and she had created a layout where she did a bunch of gold stitching in a messy circle. And I thought, oh, I want to do that. I want to do that. So I was totally inspired by that and thought, I'll add that to this layout. It's the perfect layout for it. So it just adds some texture and some shine and some interest to the background. And even though these leaves, like I said earlier, they look black, I promise you they're not black. It's just the light. The foil is hard to photograph and it's hard to get the actual color of it in these big desk lights. So I promise you'll be able to see it later. So I decided to add a little bit of layering behind the picture. I've got, I think, a Project Life card from the Hip Kit Club and then a little piece of paper from the Fancy Free Paige Evans collection just because the colors matched. And I thought I would add that just a little bit behind the picture there. Now, these are some 3D foam squares. Those are also from ThermoWeb. They are very, very sticky and very dimensional, and they are awesome for popping things up off the page. So I'm going to come back in now and work in those leaves and kind of go in a diagonal fashion here. And I put the picture over on the right side of the layout because he's the bigger person in the picture and he's looking toward the left. And so I just felt like that was a good spot to put it to where it kind of looks like he's looking across the page or looking down at the leaves. So I'm just placing everything around and kind of making this look like, you know, whimsical leaves kind of flying or fluttering everywhere. And now I'm going to show you another adhesive. Um, ThermoWeb has a lot of adhesive and these are sticky dots. It's basically a piece of paper with teeny tiny glue dots on it. I mean, teeny tiny. All you do is peel back the backing and then you stick down your die cut or your picture or whatever it is and you stick it on top of it. And when you peel it off, it peels back some of those little sticky dots. And then you just stick it down to your paper. It's, it's really, really cool. And uh, there's a ton of these little tiny sticky dots on the, the sheet there. And it's a fast and very easy way to get something stuck down. And this is something that you could use if it's too small or too intricate to use uh, a big tape runner or glue, you know, maybe the glue tip of your bottle is too thick for something. So this is perfect for those intricate, detailed, designed type of die cuts or pieces. So I decided to start gluing things down. Now the big pieces, I'm going to use my mixed media adhesive. This is some very, very strong liquid glue and it dries really, uh, bleh, it dries fairly fast. Um, you, you have a little bit of time to move around, but it does dry fast and it's very permanent when it dries. Now I had these random leaves sitting on my desk from something else. I don't even remember what, but they were just cut on white cardstock and I thought I'm going to add these to this page. So I just give them a, a little coat here with my gold color shine just to add a little bit of extra shine and sparkle. And then I'm going to stick those down. And this is what I'm talking about. I feel like I have to grab everything shiny and sparkly 
when I make a foil layout. And so this is some old My Mind's Eye. It's basically kind of clear, but it's got shiny gold dots on it. And so I'm going to use that above and below the picture just to add in more interest and more sparkly shine. And then I'm going to stick down those little gold leaves that I just made. And again, I'm going to use the sticky dots sheet here. And it's almost, it's very controlled um, adhesive because you can only, you know, press down what part of the shape you want to stick down. Like I don't want the entire leaf stuck down. I just want the end of it. So the other edge will stick up. And so you can just put the uh, adhesive on that one side. So here's where I pull out my gold glitter thicker stash as well as my metallic gold thicker stash. And I'm just going to name this Fall Fun. And I love that I've got some glitter. I've got some shine. And uh, I love the mix of the fonts there on the uh, title. And it's short and sweet. And then for my thread, I'm going to add in, uh, this is actually not shiny gold thread. It's uh, more of a mustardy yellow thread. And it's going to match the yellow and that Project Life card that's behind the pictures. And I like how this looks like fall, yet it still go in, coincides with uh, my picture and, you know, it not being traditional colors and that's okay with me it suits it suits my picture and and what uh, the look i'm trying to go for and uh, i like how it turns out so i'm going to add a little bit of journaling over here on the right just because that's a good little nook for some writing and i'm going to use my metallic gold pen because you need more gold, right? I feel like <laughs> I just want to use everything gold on this layout. So I tried to do some machine stitching, but yeah, my machine was being a little pain in the butt. So uh, all it did was skid across the leaf and leave some texture on it, which actually turned out pretty cool. But um, I only tried it on the two big green leaves, and then I said, forget this. I'm not going to mess with this machine. The last thing I'm going to do is pull out some Spiegel Mom Scraps sequins. I've got some light pink ones, some light green ones, and then some almost corally brown color ones that match really well. And then there's the final layout. Now you can see the colors of the foil. It's really hard to photograph foil, so you should see me outside trying to get this light shining just right on this page to make the foil shine because otherwise it looks black but here in the close-ups you can see these gorgeous colors i love that amber watercolor leaf so so pretty the green the blue everything's pretty and see how you can wrinkle these up a little bit and crinkle the foil to make it look textured and weathered really really cool effect but i hope you guys enjoyed this let me know if you have any questions about any of the Thermo Web products. I know I threw a lot out there today, but let me know if you have any questions. I'll be more than happy to answer. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.